Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're doing great. And uh, I think most of you are doing great. If you if you are trading Gala or are holding Gala, uh, then the last couple of, uh, well, basically the last two weeks have been pretty good for you. Um, so in this video, I just wanted to do an update on Gala. I know a lot of you uh, around the Selenix crypto community still hold Gala, including myself and trade it. Uh, which I don't really. I wanted to. I wanted to place a trade on it yesterday, but I didn't. And uh, I'm very lucky that I didn't because what I wanted to do uh, is actually place a short trade here at this level, uh, which was pretty solid because you had the trend line right here coming down, the third touch, which is very strong, the 0.618 FIP, and then also the 200 EMA. But in the end, I did not short it because I mean, you should you should try not to short in market circumstances like this. Um, but yeah, so I didn't, and in the end, uh, that that was the good move. But in this video, I still wanted to uh, still wanted to do a little update on uh, on what I think from here because we actually got a bullish breakout, and that means a lot. Um, and we'll just do a bit a, a bit of a recap of what I said uh, last time around to uh, to in, to introduce Gala uh, back to you. Um, before we dive into that, though, if you want to receive daily trading signals and my own personal trading guides to actually learn how to analyze and trade like me, like you can see at the very top, then check out the links down in the description and in the pinned comment, and there you will see uh, in, find instructions on how to join. But now onto Ghana. So Ghana right now has a lot of momentum. Like I said, there was a very strong key level, which uh, I wanted to short from, which we broke above. So that's uh, bullish right now what you can see is that the volume is also still going up which is actually Ghana is one of the only cryptos that actually has that so it still has a lot of momentum which means there's there's more opportunities to get some sort of uh, to, to get some sort of more bullish momentum if we take a look at where the volume is coming from I gotta say it does look a little bit worrying because the, the volume is actually it looks a bit manipulated to be fair I mean if you take a look at this you can actually see that like 8% is coming from BitTrue, um, quite a lot of percent is coming from, from smaller exchanges. <clears throat> and, ju and just apart from that, you can also see right here some Korean volume and, uh, and there are just some, uh, some anomalies or something. So um, I wouldn't worry too much about that yet, but it's, uh, it's, it's not ideal. Overall, we're still very bullish though. So right now, what we did is with Gala, obviously we're very bullish because of Bitcoin. But technically, what Gala did is we actually broke um, we actually broke above the 2.4, 2.45 cents level. So when I say 2.45 cents, what I mean is 0 0.0245. We broke above that, got that bullish breakout. So then we were very bullish, and now we broke above this uh, level right here, which I think is a very strong level. Uh, so that's around 2.55 cents, 2.6 cents also a little bit. So what I expect now, while we are still bullish, I mean, it, it definitely isn't out of question that Bitcoin gets a little bit of a, a little bit of a correction. That's not out of uh, not out of the question. It's also not necessarily a problem because what I expect for Gala is that we'll actually drop down to this level right here between 2.55 cents and all the way it's possible, but all the way down to uh, even a little bit lower than 2.5 cents. So around 0 0.02465. Uh, that entire level is very strong. So what I expect is that from there, we'll actually be able to uh, get, find support and get more bullish momentum, get some sort of a bullish breakout above this level right here around, uh, well, let's say 2.65 cents. And from there, get up to our main resistance level and our main price target around 2.9 and 2.95 cents. That's what I expect. The only thing that, uh, which I'm still a little bit, um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure what I think about it yet. Uh, but I'm not sure whether we will find support at around 2.55 or more like 2.46. So somewhere in the, this area, I think we'll, we'll find support because I do expect a little bit of a retracement either from current levels or find, after finding some resistance at 2.75 cents again, right here. Um, but yeah, from there, we'll see. I mean, it, it, um, it doesn't matter that much because the levels are quite close together and they're basically in the same key area, but it's going to be interesting to watch. Uh, so that's what I expect for now. Uh, so if you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.